Hey everyone, D Dub Squizzy here, and welcome to Transcendence. Uh, so this is a an indie game that I've played for a large portion of my life. Uh, I played it. Well, really, I played it when I was very young. But then there was quite a bit of time I didn't play it at all. Then I remembered it one day and hunted it down and have played it again recently. On my old channel, I did a playthrough of it. Uh, it's been updated again since. I don't know if anything new has been added. But honestly, I just want to have a playthrough of it on my channel. Um, so, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I can choose from six ships. So, I'm, I'm going to be doing the basic, what do you call it, storyline. I have Eternity Port. I basically got all the content in this game, though, with the Near Stars expansion. And I have Corporate Command as well. Uh, those come with the game if you buy it on Steam. Download it for free, you don't. Now I have six ships to choose from. Um, now this one here is basically just a medium ship. Most people often consider it uh, the best one. This is a freighter. Not great for combat. It's got very few weapon slots, which is a, a major problem later. Uh, this is just an all-over good heavy gunship. It's, it's a little bit overpowered. Wolf, it's my personal favorite. I've used that thing for ages. Small, fast. Never used one of those. Never used one of those. This is a uh, small... It's a light freighter. And this is a gunship. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, all the information looks alright. Still got the name on from the last time I used it. So let's go. When the dream came, you knew Domina had chosen you. You would sacrifice everything for the chance she offered to join her at the Galactic Core, the Eternal Temple of the Gods. Leaving your former life behind, you begin the long journey. No matter what obstacles lie in your path, you will not fail, Domino. You will reach the Galactic Core. Now, this isn't... This is gonna... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a star map. This is normally the starting system, Eridani. I'm over here at Tau Ceti. Uh, and that's because I'm playing with a ship added in the Corporate Command uh, expansion pack. So, for anyone who doesn't know, the basic premise of this game... Uh, this is space. Human space. Long time uh, in the future. Centuries later. So basically, here's Earth over there. We're far away from Earth. Basically, humans have colonized a lot of space. Human space is spread very far. First things first, I think I'm just going to pick up a mission here as well. Missions deliver bulk data ROM to Tau City fuel in the system. Okay, so. This is a... Just a, a role-playing action space adventure game, basically. Here's the map of the system we're in now. Uh, there are very few rules holding you back from doing anything. I got my weapon. That's actually... A, that's a turbo laser. Huh. Um, you could do basically whatever you want. Now, your primary goal, like it said in the opening thing, so... What? We got some enemies on the scanner already. Okay. Let's kill them, then. And we have a destroying ship. Okay, those are high ball interceptors. I played the game a lot, so I know most of these ships. By name immediately. Is that what I think it is? It is that so blue? Oh goodness! Okay, their own blast radius killed most of them. Wow, that is a lot of attacks right out of the gate. I hate those things. The big thing there is a salvager nomad. That's what it's called. It's like a neutral ship that's a moving city for a bunch of people. It just rolls around scavenging dead things, which means anything of value in the system that's just lying out in the open is going to be picked up. The game is procedurally generated. So, on this big map, some of these have uh, have set stuff, but there's even procedurally generated stuff to them, but most of the places are entirely random, and most of them aren't explored yet. So the basic premise of the game is you receive visions in your mind from an alien hyperintelligence called Domina. It's worshipped as a, a goddess by many people, and exists supposedly within the galactic core. It's called me to be there. All right, so I delivered the data ROM. They wanted. Um, and I'm supposed to sacrifice anything I can to get there. The galactic core is past here. This is so. This is all of human space. This is as much as humans have uh, discovered. Now, over hundreds of years of exploration and change and everything, there are basically no pure humans left by you know, 
normal human standards. Uh, most things are neo-humans or mutant humans. I don't think we ever actually encounter aliens, aside from the Domina voice in our head. And Domina gives us special powers, too. Right now, all I have is Sustain, which is a completely impenetrable shield that makes it so no one can hurt me, and I can't hurt anyone as long as it's active. Sort of like an emergency bailout type thing. Got 500 credits. Corporate hierarchy needs more freelancers with your skills and discretion. Okay, so... There's a lot of factions in the game. Primarily, there are three good guy factions. Now, the, the big station here this is what's called a corporate metropolis. Um, it's representative of one of the two main factions, which is the corporate hierarchy. Uh, they run production, business, shipping routes, all that kind of stuff. They're, they're the businessmen. They hire freelancers to uh, enforce things that need to be enforced, like what I'm doing right here, actually. That's great. Wow, is this thing omnidirectional? Because I seem to be auto-locking on these guys. I didn't know them do that. Longer to charge three shots, but inflict heavy damage when they hit. Swivel. It's a swivel gun. Okay, so... Oh, that's because of my turret. This ship has a special thing, apparently, so your turret can swivel a bit. Okay, so over to the Commodities Exchange. This is garbage armor that we just picked up from that wreck. Randomly. We have a lot of stuff. We can't afford almost anything. We're very, very poor. Okay, before I do anything else, I need to raise some basic money. Now down here, this is a production floor. Yeah, they're manufacturing stuff, so they want certain ores that they build. This here is defensive stuff, shields, armor, that sort of thing. This one's weapons. This one sells autons that you can use to do a lot of functions. They obey your commands. And this over here is a fuel station. This is a corporate enclave where all the corporate guys stay. You have residences. For a second, your hand reaches for the door controls, then you remember your promise to Domino. Yeah. Inside the unit, you hear a small girl crying. Her mother tries to reassure her, but with no result. I think that's your family that you left behind when you heard the call from Domino. Maintenance level, I can't do anything there yet. You can sell illegal goods there. And then there's other stuff you can sell at the top. I don't want to do that yet, because prices depreciate if you sell too much. Green stations are good guys. Red stations are bad guys. You probably already figured that out. It's pretty basic stuff. Um, and then blue is neutral. There aren't a lot of blue guys. They're one of the... The main one I can think of off the top of my head is the Black Market. Now, as for the other good guy factions, uh, there is the, the Commonwealth, which is basically the main government. Looted? Not looted. That's nice, that's fuel. Up there in the top left, uh, the green is our fuel, and then the yellow is our energy output. This has been looted. Yeah. Salvage your nomad gets to these things. Because that's an Abbasid outpost. I don't want to mess with that <coughs> yet. Sorry, my throat's giving me trouble. This place has quite a few asteroids. It's best to search the asteroids for potential loot. If stupid salvager nomads hadn't gone around and collected it all already. Whoa! Okay. So, I can initiate autopilot in case anyone was wondering why I can suddenly move super fast at times. Autopilot speeds the game up, and that's all it does. It just straight up speeds it up until you input any controls or take damage. There's the Stargate to the next system. We do not want to leave yet. I'm still poor. I need serious upgrades. And more jobs. Someone took out a whole anarchist habitat over here. And the Salvager Nomads already took anything of value on it. Two of them did. Nothing left there. Are there three of them out here? I would love to kill them. The problem is they're very tough. And I have no explosives to hurt them with. They took out Sharon Pirates, too. Okay, there's outlaws there, down here. This is the third good guy faction. So one's the government, one's the, the production and stuff, and this here, this is the religious organization that worships Domino. And they want to help you because you're a pilgrim. There aren't many people like me. They want to help me get them to the place. So you can ask them some questions. You'll face many obstacles, you know, cores at the end of human space. They tell you, uh, what do you call it? Domino's this hyper powerful deity thing at the center of the universe, yada yada yada. Uh, and then the abbess tells you, introduce you to the guy, Benedict, he can train you. He wants me to take out these autons. Done. Take the time to practice your skills, return to the matrix transfer when you're ready to continue the training. Every star system has its outlaws, most people fear that we can't afford to There's an anarchist habitat nearby, let's see if we can take them up. Okay, Anarchist Habitat, those, those tiny ships that attacked us right out of the gate, uh, those were Anarchists. Those are called Battle Pods. Anarchists are basically exactly what they sound like. They just 
oppose the Kanzo. Which they like to use as an excuse to uh, kill everyone. My shields are all the way down. It doesn't matter if you're dead. Most stations are hard to damage. Anarchist habitats are not, which is why I was fine just charging them. Okay. I'm gonna refuel real quick. So I just picked up that, so I'm gonna save real quick. That there is a save file for my other one. It's already completed, so I can't even play it anymore. It already has an autopilot. Bah, useless. I lost the ROM. Some of them do some pretty magnificent things, and some of them do nothing. No one will miss them. Can't get to the core without fighting outlaws, pirates, and warlords. Or outside the law, no one will miss them. Not everyone is your enemy. Don't attack civilized stations or return the whole commonwealth against you. Enemy stations are often resistant to standard laser kinetic weapons. You need something stronger than a missile launcher. For a weapon that has WMD damage and install it on your ship. What is that? Oh, another battle pod. They call it backup in. Yeah, so for example, that outlaw camp there. I cannot destroy that thing right here. Those were Centauri. <coughs> so, uh, so there's a lot of factions. The outlaws are just what they sound like, mainly drug dealers and racketeering type stuff. Anarchists just oppose the government, and they're really just bandits. The Abbasids are weird knowledge seekers who don't have any ships at all, but they have, like, semi-fortified strongholds for their stations. Um, they're often nuisance. No one likes the episode. Oh, the salvagers are already out here. I need to loot fast. That's illegal goods. Okay, so if you bring illegal goods to any Commonwealth station, they will confiscate them. No loss to you except the goods themselves. Illegal goods are often worth quite a bit. And so you want to keep them and sell them to people that they're worth money to. Okay, so this is just a Commonwealth Habitat Station. People just live there, and that's it. But these guys here are the Centauri, a very early game type of warlords. Uh, they make rice that's worth a lot, but other than that, they do nothing useful. They just attack people. That's a Commonwealth Dry Dock. It does all the dock services, like installation of armors and stuff, um, and repairing and whatnot, and changing out your equipment, but they will also confiscate, so I don't want to go to them yet. Can't hurt a Hymo Refuge. I need missiles. No way. Okay, this is great luck. Hotels? You can sell them goods, like rice and supplies, ma mainly food stuff, because they need food. They're a hotel. But if you go to the restaurant with an illegal good, you'll find these guys, and they'll wish they had whatever illegal good you have. You tell them you have some on your ship. 250 credits for the whole bunch. I say, yeah. And then he hands me an identification chip. And that lets me get into a black market, if I want to. Generally, you have to actually try to get into those things. It's rare that you just find a hotel right after picking up some legal goods. That's great luck. Okay. Here we have the Sharon Pirates. Now, this is their literal weakest station, guarded by their actual weakest ships. But from this whole area, from Eridani all the way over to here, everything in between, all of this stuff... Uh, that's where the Sharon Pirates operate. They mainly hit shipping routes, but the Commonwealth can't afford to take them out because they're busy embroiled in a massive war right at the moment. Okay, this one is not just a cache. This is a outpost. Fortunately, there's an asteroid blocking their attacks. Hydrocarbons, industrial resources, that's what those are. Where they're worth very little, but something. Basically, you can just take these, these various groups out with no consequence and they have loot on them. Which is what I, I aim to take out everyone that I can get my hands on. After all, all of them can be useful in my mission to Dom. I know it's hard to explain everything that's in the game. But there is a lot of stuff. All the refueling. Fuel stations are great. They sell lots of fuel when they refuel you for low prices in comparison. Whoa! Okay, so the Sharon Pirates have their Corsairs that are these tiny little wimpy ships. And then they have these things that are their actual assault gunships. They're not super strong, but they do have turbo lasers, which will devastate my shields and armor. As if you look down in the bottom right, where my armor is at, you will see I took some real heavy hits. Those are their Corsairs. Very light gunships with 
the weakest weapons you can possibly have. This thing also has a turbo laser. What shields do I have? Because I've never played this thing, so I'm not familiar with this start stuff. That's not where I wanted to go. From. Class 2 deflector. It's just 45 hit points with 5% resistance on kinetic and laser, so it's not a great shield. Okay, I need to get a missile launcher so I can actually take out some of these things. The Abbasids, Heimel, and Outlaws are all basically impervious to my attacks. I have no lore on the Heimel, if anyone's curious about that. I got nothing. They only have the one type of very thin ship, the Interceptor. And then they have, like, their refuges. Yeah, and I don't know what the deal with the refuges is. I can't use the these things, so it says marked, do not open anything that's marked with anything. You can apply to your to your shape, you can code it in it. And you have no clue what it's going to do, so I generally prefer not to do that. And of course I already have autopilot on my ship, so I don't need that problem. I don't know why those exist. Pretty sure every ship already has autopilot on it. Oh. I can't sell any things to the weapon merchant there that I just docked at. He only lets me buy things, which means these damaged laser weapons are legal or useless. And though the black market ship is illegal, no one will try to take it from me. What do you have here? Very expensive stuff that I can't buy. I don't... Oh, I've got 2,000, actually. I made quite a bit off of that recent attack, which is good. They don't have any launchers for sale at a corporate metropolis. What? What? Oh, they got nothing. They have a better reactor, which I would like. But uh, reactors are real expensive. Okay, well, I'm gonna go find that dry dock then. They probably have launchers for sale. I could do a little more exploration while I'm at it. I've usually got some more missions to do. But right now, all I can do is missions for the Icarus Station and for the Domina place. Okay, I don't want to deal with an anarchist gathering at the moment. Please don't. If I kill them, I'll get the whole gathering after me. Oh, the whole gathering didn't come after me. We just have stuff here to loot. Empty. The open seal stuff is random. A solvent that caused four damage. I need to reheal. I am hurt. Greenfield habitat. Okay, this is another place being held down by the Centauri. The Centauri are very prevalent in Eridani, the system that you normally start in. You can find some of them here, but their real stuff is over there. Okay, so that's an outlaw mine built into an asteroid. A curator's outpost, another outlaw mine. I can't hurt any of them. And another outlaw mine. And I'm low on fuel. Things are going great. Alright. Well, I can't do anything about any of that yet. I really need some upgrades. Okay, so we head over here. They have a ship broker where you can sell your own ship and make up a new one. But first of all, all of them are very expensive, and two, that's re not really not worth it. Just in general. He has a Burak missile launcher, and that's it. That's not ideal. But I think it's better than nothing. What missiles does he have for it? Okay, so those do 31 damage. They're expensive. These. I'm gonna pick up 50 of these. Alright, now I got some missiles. I'm gonna talk to the sisters again. They probably want to send me to go destroy a place, but they wouldn't tell me to do it without thinking I actually could do it. Missiles are expensive, so don't waste them unless you really need them. Done well, you ready for a final exam. There's an outlaw mine, the enemy system wants you to go there and destroy it. Take your time in this mission, your target's well defended, very dangerous. If you can, upgrade your weapons before you go. Make sure your armor is fully repaired. 
The station has something you want after you smash it. Whoa! Curators! They have that. They're the curator outpost. It's over in the system. I don't know why they would attack me. The curators just kind of like collect rare items, like relics and antiques and stuff. They're a strange crowd, and generally they store them in vaults, but they're also kind of jerks, because they just fly out and attack you. Ceramic armor's not the best. I don't have a lot of money, though, and I need to get a better reactor, first and foremost. Because I can't upgrade almost at all without better reactors. Oh, I got one of them. Okay. So there's their refuge. Trying to test on their map so I'm not wasting missiles. Got him. Yeah, missiles do a lot of damage to them. Ooh, a disposable missile rack. And a bunch of random supplies. So, disposable missile rack. Yeah, if I didn't already have one installed, I could mount that on the outside and then fire the missiles that's gotten it and then unmount it. Yeah, so like I said, I don't know the deal with the uh, the Heimel. All I know is those are their ships and their bases, and that's it. They seem to be rather secretive. But if, if I wouldn't attack all these different people if they weren't out, you know, for blood. They're constantly attacking everyone they get their hands on. Alright, I'm taking out these Abbasids as well. See, so they have this place that fires an array. I just fired all of those into an asteroid. Got it. Alright. All you have to do is breach one hole in them. Abbasid Thanagram. So that thing there, it says it's Dominic Communion. That's because, like I said, they're always seeking knowledge, so they have their own ways of getting it. Knowledge like that is valuable to Domina. If you offer it to her, you can improve your relationship with her, which has potential to give you more powers. Plasteel Ore. High tier ore is worth money. Those are worth a little money. Very heavy. So I want to sell those immediately, but they are worth some money. And I also want to pick up some more missions from these corporate guys. They hire me out as a freelancer. That's what I did right at the start. Uh, to carry things around where they need to be carried. And take out outlaws that are causing problems in the system. Okay, so first of all, I want to see if these guys want Plasteel. They don't. They give you the best prices. Um, if you can't sell anything to them, go to a corporate enclave. Enclave, because these guys you can sell for a lot. I have three thousand, but I need more. Oh, what do we have? Someone's getting uncomfortably close. Oh, that's an outlaw freighter. That thing could have some illegal goods on it. Take it out. Die. Oh, good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna die. out its security forces first, and then follow it at a, at a distance. Okay, got it. What'd you have? Please tell me that was worth it. Coilless, smart cannon rounds, that's what's firing at me. Damaged stuff, but that's worth money. Oh, a bunch of illegal goods. Awesome. So, armor places can take damaged armor, weapon places can take damaged weapons. They're the only places, and scrap places will take damaged anything. Other than that, no one will pay money for them, so they're a waste of time if you don't have someone to sell them to. So now I can sell all the illegal goods here, and as you can see, they are worth significant money. Which is excellent. So I'm gonna repair all of this stuff real quick, and uh, we are just gonna immediately upgrade that. sell my current reactor, as well as the cannon, the smart cannon rounds. I also want to use that, so I'm going to do that real quick. You always want to save first, it can really screw with your ship to use these things. Oh, it just made my shield 20% stronger. 
which isn't a lot because it was already pretty weak, but might let me tank one or two more hits. So there, it is something. Right, refuel. Takes a lot more helium rods, but it goes for like 40% longer. Because it has now 25 megawatts instead of 15. Okay. I'm a refuge here. I just need to hit one of them so I can draw the fighters away. There we go. This planet is covered again close. Gotcha. Water ice weighs a lot, but early on you need all the money you can get. So there's three outlaw mines. I still think I didn't get admission from them, did I? I wasn't paying attention. If I'm destroying places without getting missions first, I'm losing out on lots of potential money. Quest a mission. Outlaw freighters taking stolen goods. Blow it up. Okay, this I can do. I need to take this freighter out before it can, uh... Miss whatever that was. Before it can leave the system. I want to hit it after the outlaw line, because they'll defend it. It's like that other freighter we hit, except this one I think is unescorted. And has no real goods for us to steal from it. upgrade these things. I do not trust this armor at all. Okay, heavy reactive is pretty good. Uh, 65 resistance, so it's less to laser, more to kinetic, which is what most guys use now, and more importantly, it has 75 to, uh, hit points on it. So I think I'm going to upgrade everything to that. It costs quite a bit. But I say worth it. And that's decent early game armor. Oh, and I actually picked up more of those missiles off of something as well. Do you have another mission for me? If you see down there, progress to security officer, the more missions you do, uh, the more they give you stuff. Okay. That just updated the main mission for the corporate command DLC. Because dealing with that is actually a main mission. So I don't think there's anything wrong with me taking out the rest of these places now. I might as well do that. It's weird starting at the beginning. It wasn't, I mean, it was a while ago that I played, but I'm just used to having pretty much everything. Is this the only ship you have large? Oh, that was a mistake. They're durable. Yeah, see? Antique stuff. lot of outlaws out here. So the outlaws, they have mining ships because they're, they're mining illegally, basically. These things here are just to run people off of their claims. The hammerheads. Then they have those. Those are mining ships. Those lasers look intimidating, but they do, like, no damage. Alright. I hate you. I hate you guys. I wasn't able to hurt you much before. I can now. He's gonna kill me before I can kill him. That's unfortunate. I hate those guys. If you can kill them, you can get all the stuff they've stolen, but I think I just launched a bunch of missiles into nothing for no reason. I need to kill these little defense drones they have. Fortunately, the asteroid station itself has no defense. Razzermizer. 
smart cannon is what those stupid freighters used against me. It's the thing that zips around and tracks you. It's somewhat annoying. And so turbo lasers go right through this armor. I need better shields, too. Looks like you're busy helping someone else go finish your task and come back when you're done. Yeah, the Domina quest line is a whole other thing, too. And the Sisters of Domina have nothing to do with the main quest. You don't have to help anyone do your thing. Oh, they got my Martini Nori. Dang it. I forgot I had illegal goods. They want me to install that thing, too, so I might have to do that. Let's head over to Armored Shields. What do you have that's better here? Okay, so that thing has 90 hit points. But it's, uh, minus 5 on the two most commonly used early modes of attack. The red one's laser, the gray one is kinetic, and the other ones there are ion and thermo, very late game elements. No one uses those. Where's our monocle? Monocle deflector screen is very reliable early. It's not great, but it, it's something at least. I want one of those. It's 2,000. So I'm gonna have to deal with some other stuff first. I think I should take out these outlaws. I'm hoping I make enough money off of this system to get some basic upgrades, potentially kill all the salvagers around here, and be ready to kill any others if I have to. Because every single move I make and pinch of progression I have, I feel like those things are going to be there to take from me. I wasted a bunch of missiles to take one down, too. Okay, more illegal stuff from the outlaws. I looted the outlaw mine, right? Please tell me I looted the outlaw mine. I didn't, did I? I blew it up and I ran. Did someone else get it? Someone else got it. Dang it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that is an outlaw enforcer ship. That's a gunship. That's a bigger problem. Got it. Reactor assemblies. Reactor assemblies are a much stronger fuel than the rods that I use currently. A mining launcher. It's to launch mining missiles. The Autons are docking. A1 class defender. Terrible shield, but, you know, it's money. Attack mining laser. That's worth more. Let's get this garbage out. It's pretty heavy and it's kind of worthless. This is good ore. This is tier 3 ore. How much is this thing worth? 260 credits. It weighs 5 tons. I don't think so. Okay, let's go sell some stuff. I need to pick up more missiles too. I'm very low on them. This isn't a great starting place, not gonna lie. I, I could use much better. All right, yeah, see, that ore just made me several thousand. Okay, I got some more money. Let's have them repair what I got here. I do not want to replace it with the garbage. Okay, so yeah, let's see, if I go over here, that's it, that's the only weapon they have. 
they have nothing there. Guys, man, the Corporate Metropolis, I remember them actually being worth something. Monopole deflector screen. Yeah, get one of those. Sell that. It's not a lot better, but it is better. And I can have them install one of these. It does a little more damage, but it takes its own ammo. So I'm going to use my laser cannon primarily still, but now I have that. I was kind of needed for the Sisters of Domina anyway. Not a big fan of this smart gun. Alright. So we have a little... It looks like a lot of them. Most of them are battle pods, though. Just in case, I'm going to save. It's like four anarchist habitats on top of each other. Fortunately, the explosions in the battle pods of destruction often hurt them pretty badly. It takes out a bunch of their own shit. Oh, those ones are tougher. But they're not super tough. Alright. Refuel. Couple of them left. Battle pods? Yeah. Now it's just the anarchist stations themselves. Okay, let me take cover here so we can take stock of the situation. Okay, my lasers can hurt them. Got them. Alright, that's their backup. Swivel cannon's pretty nice. Now I get to have everything they have, which usually is not very much. Nebula beer's worth some money. And two more ROMs. We'll see what those do now. Okay, visual display enhanced. If you just notice those various color boxes on the top of the screen, it added those. So now I can see where things are when they're off the screen. That's actually very helpful. And one of the three major upgrades ROMs can add to your ship. How many of them are there that are coming in here? the other one do? Autopilot, of course. Yep, I know, I know, I'm hurt. I don't have a targeting computer, so I can't lock on to people yet. Low on fuel. There's a fuel station over here, though. And then a dry dock where I can recover from this heavy, heavy damage. A lot of good guy ships were taken out by this thing. We haven't encountered many Sharon Pirates, which is very rare this early on in the game. Okay, have these guys repair me, and then I'll pick up some more missiles. is an upgrade to this. Tevlar's actually pretty nice. It's also 620 a pop, and they only have two of them. Polyceramic's even better, isn't it? Yeah, I would, I would take Polyceramic over it. That's even, that's even more, actually. 680. It has five less hit points, slightly less kinetic resistance, but significantly more laser resistance. Which I think I'm gonna need. I already had a segment installed. Weird. Oh, no I didn't. Right, we need more barracks. Not that, dog services. Okay. 
pick up another 82 of those for just a couple hundred. Which is pretty cheap. Alright, let's go deal with this anarchist thing that they told me to deal with, and I'm just gonna, you know, spoiler alert here, it's not just anarchists. We've dealt with quite a few anarchists and outlaws out here. This is worse. This is much worse. Okay, they took out my shields already. Monopole's got a decent recovery time, but it isn't anything to write home about. Alright, so as you can see, the station isn't doing so good. And that's a settlement instead of a habitat, so it's huge. The station is a mangled forest of pipes, wires, and unidentified masses. Fluid stain every surface. The bleeding head and torso of a woman protrudes from the floor. As you approach, she opens her eyes and pulls you down to her. A raspy gargling sound comes out of her mouth. We didn't know. It took over so fast. Nothing we could do. It changed. Evolved. Destroyed. The Biosoft. The download. We tapped a narrow cast. We thought it was worth something. Maybe it protected that. But it ran the artifacts. Created things. Mutated everything. Hand tightens around your arm, and her eyes stare lifelessly away. Ooh. Alright, then I get all their loot. Okay, so autofacts are what people use to build stuff. They're just auto factories. Uh, and the anarchists, that's of course how they build things. Really, they're just low life bandits. Not very good at what they do. But out here, where we are in the new beyond, this whole area. The Sharon Pirates operate out here with other low-level guys because the Commonwealth can only spare the militia, which is basically the same thing that, the, that I do for corporate hierarchy. They just hire people on as freelancers to deal with occasional threats. Because their military is too busy fighting a war. What was that? Oh, I saw the red. It's just the walls. Hey, buddy. You want to go for round two? I don't have a lot to lose right now. Alright, let's focus our fire on the path. If I can reach one armor second, I can kill him. Got him. You don't have to get all of them, you just have to get through a single armor second. Yeah, see what I was losing out here? Organic acid. That's what you use analyzers for. They tell you what things are that you don't already know. Okay, so I jettison the water ice because it's worth very little. Take what I can from the frozen beef. The rest of it's water ice. I'll let your brothers harvest your body. Selling things to a hotel is pretty much worth the same as selling them to a corporate enclave. Corporate enclaves you can just sell a lot to. So basically, anything you can sell to these guys, you should sell to these guys. Nice work out there. We deposited 500 credits to your account, but I don't know what, what it is you saw. You take the station, Autofax transforming ships, but tech doesn't exist. I want you to report what you saw to my superior, Anton Nasser. He's the ranking corporate operative in the region. You'll know what to do. You can find him somewhere in the Alisad system. Good luck. Anything else? You may have a job. Okay, self-proclaimed warlords demanding tribute. Now I'm back to regular missions I can do. Just a guy who starts demanding things from people, basically. There goes his container habitat. He's in a Centauri heavy fighter and he is trying to run from me. He's based off the template of the boss at the end of the Eridani system if you go the normal route in the game. You can only start in the Eridani system if you use the Sapphire Yacht, the Wolf and Gunship, or uh, the E-1500 Freighter. Everything else starts you here. Alright, everything's quiet now, so no more missions for me here. But the sisters still have some stuff for me. I might pick up some more powerful missiles on my way out of the system as well. But the sisters, as I recall have actually a decently difficult mission for me. 
There's the Sharon Pirates. They're normal MO. Their MO is basically constantly rage you the entire time you're in this portion of the galaxy. Human space here is entirely plagued by those guys. They're everywhere. They're the, they're the primary enemy you face out here. Are able to help others? Abbas rushes towards Benedict with a data pad in between anxious breaths. She updates him on some crisis. Benedict reassures her and turns to you. We need your help on this. You're ready for it, says the Abbas. Though her face makes it a question. Benedict continues. One of our freighters is in trouble. We don't know very much, but it appears to be under attack. She'll enter the system soon. Meet her at the starting and protect her until she can reach us here. We'll pass through civilian areas, so be careful discharging your weapons. You can use the smart cannon to avoid collateral damage. The smart cannon does more damage, too. This is what I was waiting to use it on. And I should refuel. I can't even use the reactor assemblies, because my reactor's not advanced enough to handle them. Raider's gonna be coming through here and it's gonna be coming in hot. Okay. Kill this guy. Those are high level ships, by the way. These are much stronger than I am. That does dark acid. Nothing has resistance to dark acid. Actually, I can at least sell their armor. One of them blew up. Jewel of Contemplation. I can offer that to Domina, too. Alright, but the freighter should be safe now. Docking base swarms with activity. Tex hook up cables and equipment to the docked freighter while Benedict and the Abbas talk with the freighter's captain. Penitence hit the heart, says the captain. There's no trace of the patrol ship we just found her drifting in space. She must have ejected. Behind them, you see cardinal roped men tanks maneuver region of tanks at the bay. Inside, you see an unconscious woman, her long black hair waving at the tanks. Fluid. Benedict makes his way towards you. Thank you for helping us, he says, thanking your hand. They wouldn't have survived without you. Who's the woman? Benedict looks across the docking bay to the Reach tank, and for the first time you see tears in his eyes. That's Fiona. I should never have let her go alone, he says mostly to himself. The penitence attacked her patrol ship just as she was about to make a critical discovery. Now her date is lost along with the ship and crew. She's all we have left. It's the penitence. Domino's not the only god, you know. The penitence worship Arrakis, their god of death, but they've gotten stronger in the last few years. I've never seen them come all the way out here. Your task is done. Fates to reach the Galactic Core die trying. I hope I've taught you enough. I have to figure out why Fiona was attacked. I owe her that much. There's a Commonwealth colony in the Venus system. That's where Fiona started. With a little luck, I'll be able to retrace her steps. Goodbye. Alright. So I'm gonna go to the Sanctum. I can offer the Thanagram. The Jewel of Contemplation. So over here, see, I'm only a Tier 1 guy. I'm a novice. But I'm 45% to Acolyte already, just from those two things. Now I can donate stuff to them as well. But, uh... It's not really worth doing, honestly. They can help you out when you need it. But their their budget is always under your, your amount of money. Which means they never help you. Because that's how they operate. Yeah, I don't want to pick up upgrades for any of those. But I might for this. What do you have? Okay, so this does, this does 9 damage, actually. So I wouldn't want to replace it with, with anything light. Nah. My cannon should hold up. Okay, you got 80 more of these. That's good. These are expensive. Uh, I'll take 30 of them. They're stronger. They do 21 damage. And I'm gonna remove this thing, because I'm not a fan of the Razormizer cannon. It doesn't do much. I kind of need it to make sure that intro ship makes it somewhere safely. But I don't like having to manage ammo for my basic weaponry. Alright, now I can switch missiles. Got some analyzers. Right, I should go sell all the garbage. Yeah, so, as I was saying before, before I got heavily sidetracked, basically everyone you encounter in this is either a neo-human, a mutant, or a meta-human. Which are just various types of people who have been kind of twisted throughout things. One faction in the game is still purely human. And uh, there's one presumably alien faction, and then a couple AIs. But the alien one is only located in a single area, and very little is known about them. They're called, uh, the Iacrim. And in fact, 
centuries ago, when in this universe, when humanity first started uh, heading out into the stars, it was the Iacrim that got them there. Basically, an Iacrim ship appeared above Earth and just kind of sat there for a long time. A couple weeks, actually. Eventually, people made contact with it, and it sent us data about various things in the universe, how to build things like a, like a spaceship, and you know, the drives you need to move through space and whatnot. And uh, from there, the humans progressed, but it eventually, th that ship just disappeared. Humans eventually used that technology to get real far in the galaxy, uh, but eventually reaching the end here, they found the edge of human space, and there's some sort of barrier that prevents anyone from reaching the Stargate at the end of this place. Because the distance between, say, Tau Ceti and Vena here is so vast that basically everyone will die of old age long before even the fastest, most heavily stocked ship you could get would make it to the next one without one of these Stargates, which were here when the humans started finding them. These are what connects the systems. Humans didn't build these. But no one can reach the Stargate in the last place. Something prevents them, and the Iacrim have a presence there. Everything else is uh, either human or human-made that's running things out here, so just keep that in mind as we go through. We're not fighting hostile aliens. These anarchists, the outlaws, the Heimels, the Sharon, those were all humans. Oh, we got some enemies. Speak of the devil, Sharon pirates. Vikings always have fuel, so they're worth looting. Uh, Alright, but that's going to do it for this one. I like this game, happy to be back, and I've never used this ship before, so I'm excited to see where it's going to take me to. So thanks to anyone for watching. See you all in the next one.